Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo. We are checking out the official, this is it, the official review for the Nokia Lumia 928. So here it is, the Nokia or Nokia, depending on where you live in the world, 928. This is the Verizon variant of the Lumia 920. Uh, let's talk about the hardware first. This is a pretty long review that I have posted, so I'll try to get through this quickly. You can see the edges have been uh, kind of cropped off. They're a little bit sharper than the 920s, which were a lot more rounded. It's still a little bit curved on the bottom. You can see there's sort of a, uh, a curve there, which is nice. But generally speaking, still feels good in the hand. It's not, uh, it's not any more difficult to hold than the 920 is, which is a nice thing. But it does uh, deviate a little bit from Nokia's design standard that we're used to seeing. So the other thing is uh, we have the white polycarbonate body here, but unfortunately for you Verizon users, you will not be seeing this in any of the colorful variants like the cyan or red, anything like that. It only comes in black and white on Verizon. So unfortunately for you guys, if you were looking to add a little style to your Lumia 928, you are a little bit out of luck. Uh, you'll notice they now have a xenon flash here. There is not just a dual LED flash. It is a xenon very powerful, very cool. They've also moved the speaker to the bottom here. It used to be on, on the bottom of the device on the 920. They've now moved it to the back of the device and it's kind of nice because there's a little curve right here. So when you put the phone down on a table face up, it doesn't sit flush. So when you get a call and want to put it on speaker, you don't actually have to worry about it sounding muffled. It's, it's a really nice feature and I think it's a really good idea. The buttons on the side have been rounded quite a bit. They're really subtle and I still kind of find myself uh, missing the power button uh, to wake it from its sleep. I know that that's a little bit weird, but the tactile response is not quite as, I guess, prominent as I would like it to be. Uh, and my very last thing about the 928 that I just can't stand, and this is a personal preference for people, is that this micro USB cable is on the top of the device. Now, I am, I guess, a phone purist, and I like to have my micro USB plug on the bottom because when you're sitting at your desk and you have it plugged in, uh, it's plugged in upside down, which is really frustrating and kind of annoying. So unless you have a permanent cable coming up from the back of your desk, uh, this that might annoy you. Uh, just like it annoyed me. So I'm not a fan of that. But let's turn it on. Let's check it out. Uh, we have Verizon Red as our theme, of course, because it is a Verizon device, which is super awesome for Verizon users who are hoping to get a flagship Windows Phone 8 device. So the specs on this phone are actually pretty good. They're almost identical to the 920. So it has a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor, one gig of RAM, an 8.7 megapixel rear camera, a four and a half inch screen, and a 2000 milliamp battery. Uh, the screen, however, has been replaced. Instead of an IPS L LCD, there is now an AMOLED screen and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. There's almost no separation when you are looking at the phone at an angle. The viewing angles are very, very good. Uh, I don't know why you would be you know, using your phone at 178 degrees, but generally speaking, it is a very nice phone to look at. I am a big fan of it, and you would be too if you saw it in person. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. As for the software, there's not much here that's a lot different than Windows Phone 8 on the 920, but there is, of course, your standard Verizon apps that are available. Here's VZ Navigator. Uh, the cool thing about Verizon's kind of bloatware on Windows 8 devices or Windows Phone 8 devices is that you can actually uninstall them. So if you are not a fan of VZ Navigator, you can uninstall that, uh, which is super nice and definitely something that I personally really enjoy as a detail because oftentimes I don't need things like NFL Mobile and uh, you might, which is great, but it's not for me. You also have Nokia suite of apps. You have Here City Lens, Here Maps, uh, and you also have Nokia Drive Plus Beta, which is very, very good. It's a great substitute for Google Maps. Uh, of course, Google Maps, always the number one uh, if I had to choose, but this will definitely do you a, a good job if you need to get somewhere.
And of course, in Windows Phone 8, we now have resizable live tiles and you can actually make them three different sizes. So if we wanna make them very small, we can do that. We can go the width of the screen and we can also go back to the square sort of medium sized tile, which is cool. Uh, I always love the Xbox integration. It's great. I still smile every time I see my little tiny Xbox avatar on there. And of course, being able to have live tiles is just, uh, it's really fancy. And I, I think that a lot of people, it's, John and I have talked about Windows Phone 8 as being the greatest OS that most people aren't using. And so I definitely think that that carries through to the Lumia 928. As for performance, it definitely doesn't give us much lag. I mean, the, the response is very, very good. I am a big fan of the gaming on this. Uh, I have Jetpack Joyride, which is super awesome. So I'm going to uh, to play that. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Uh, but we are going to play. Let's play some Jetpack Joyride, shall we? So you can see it's uh, it's really responsive. Obviously, this is not the most graphics intensive game, but they do have Nova 3 and other games. And also uh, the Halo game, Spartan Assault, will be out next month. So I'm really curious to see how that performs on a device like the Lumia 928. I now have my hog. Very exciting. I'm going to jump and run over scientists and shoot them and pick up coins and do all the things. And I'm really good at Jetpack Joyride, so I'm not going to keep playing. I'm just going to die on purpose. Let's go back to our home screen. <laughs> but hopefully Halo Spartan Assault, the exclusivity for Windows 8 and uh, Windows Phone 8 will bring more people to the platform because I definitely think that is a thing that Microsoft could absolutely leverage in uh, bringing more people to the platform. Well, the camera is really, really good. I mean, obviously Pure View is the technology that they use and Again, just like the Lumia 920, it's very good in low light. Uh, I have some pictures of Lucy. I've got some video here. It shoots in 1080 or 720. You can actually pick that natively, which is something that not a lot of apps do. I know I, the iPhone, for example, the iPhone 5, you have to use a third-party app for that. So it is nice to have that option available. Uh, this is one of my robots. Now I'm gonna show you something that the Flash does, which is a little bit strange. Now you would expect with the Xenon Flash that you would have a better image in the dark. Now I shot this underneath my desk and there was no light. This is without flash. Now if I go to the image with flash, you can see it's really bright and it almost overcorrects and oversaturates an image with the flash. And I'm not sure if that's a white balancing issue. It does seem to kind of be a combination of a strange white balancing that's happening when you use the xenon flash in a low light situation and also an oversaturation issue. Now hopefully Nokia will put out some sort of software update for the 928 to sort of correct this because it is a little bit obnoxious in terms of uh, of software. So you can see, again, this is without flash. And then we have this really kind of oversaturated color that's happening uh, with the desk. So it's a little bit more true to color if you're, uh, if you're looking at it without flash. Uh, again, this is with flash and without. So you can definitely see there are some big differences in the color saturation for each picture. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but generally speaking, it does take very nice pictures. I do love the way that it takes low light pictures. It's fantastic. Another thing that they offer is you can actually go into your apps. You have photo apps. So we have Creative Studio available to us where you're able to pick some uh, different filters just like you would in an Instagram app or the like. And you can also do uh, other things to your photo. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to edit it, you could actually do uh, shift tilting, you can do focus one object where you pick the actual outline, you can do a color pop, you can do a collage, there's adjustments, standard adjustments, and also fixing, so cropping and rotating and red eye. So it's a very nice feature set that's available to you. The other thing that I really like about the camera is that while you're taking pictures, is that while you're taking pictures, you can actually go into your photo and video settings uh, and, and choose a few different things. You can actually choose continuous focus on or off, uh, which is really helpful uh, as opposed to the iPhone where you have to sort of double tap with your fingers and sort of manipulate the camera app a little bit more than you would normally have to, which is a little bit silly. So our photo settings, we can also pick scenes, 
Uh, you can pick different scenes, but a very good job by Nokia uh, in their camera app. I definitely think that they are at the front, if not the leader of the pack in terms of native and default photo apps. But overall, like I said, the Nokia uh, 9 to the Lumia 928 camera is really, really good. And anybody with a smartphone, a flagship smartphone, would find that this definitely is up there with the iPhone 5s and the HTC ones of the world. As for call quality and data uh, data transfer, the call quality on the phone is really clear. When you make a phone call, it sounds really good. I'm sure it doesn't hurt that I am on Verizon's LTE network, which is extremely fast. When we were using this and we did our speed test, you can see we had, these are our speeds that were happening uh, earlier today after it locates my closest server. Let's go see where our uh, results were. So you can see here on the 19th, we had 15 down and 10 up, which is really respectable, super fast. And I am a huge fan of Verizon's LTE network. It's extremely broad. Uh, there's a lot of coverage out there, uh, which is great. So if you're looking at that coverage speed and you haven't upgraded to an LTE device, now you know what you're going to get if you are in an area with LTE coverage. And we have about four bars of LTE here at any given time we can see. Now, right now we have two because we're in the conference room, but generally speaking, we have about four. Now, as for your battery life, it has a 2000 milliamp battery, which compared to other phones of its size might not seem like a lot, but because of the optimization in Windows Phone 8, you're going to get a really full day's worth out of your battery life. So you don't have to worry about using this phone and having it die in the middle of your day. Uh, however, I will note that if you are a very heavy media user, you will actually have issues with battery life around six hours. So if you are, let's say, at Disneyland, let's say maybe you have spotty coverage, uh, this is definitely a phone that will get you through a lot of the day uh, when compared to something like an Android device with the same battery capacity. But generally speaking, if you are a heavy media user, as always, you're going to have a lot shorter battery life. Just keep that in mind. Um, but that is pretty much the Nokia Lumia 928. It's very similar to the Lumia 920 in some ways, but then in other ways, it's a little bit different. And it's honestly really, really exciting for Verizon users. This phone is only $49 on contract right now, which is pretty much an insane deal. So if you're interested at all in Windows Phone 8, I highly suggest that you get yourself down to your Verizon brick and mortar and you test this phone out because it is honestly a great device. And I really enjoyed using it. I loved it, thought it was fantastic. This is Office. You can see we've got some really great apps. If you are a Windows user, you will find yourself right at home in Windows Phone 8, and you will really like the way their apps are designed. Their native apps are beautiful. However, if you are mired in the iOS or Apple ecosystem, you will have a very difficult time with this phone. The same goes for Google. You can still set up everything through CalDAV, uh, however, and, and CarDAV, but the problem is, is that you, you aren't getting those native apps from Google, so you won't be seeing Google Maps on here unless you use it through the browser. And we all know it's not as good of an experience. So overall, I think obviously Windows Phone 8 is still ex experiencing some growing pains, some very serious growing pains. However, I think that being said, this is a great device. It's very solid. It is very quick. It's responsive. And I think anybody who is a Windows fan or a Microsoft fan would be happy to use this on the Verizon LTE network. Uh, I really enjoyed it. There is a lack of apps for certain things, but on that same note, there are things like Instance where you can use that to substitute for Instagram. So there are third-party apps that will help you out and uh, help fill those gaps. So we're going to go to Techno Buffalo so we can show you how, how it renders. We'll use Bing. We're going to Bing it. That's our, our new favorite search term. So here's our beautiful web results. And you can see we're on Wi-Fi right now. I'm not on Verizon LTE, but you can see everything renders quite nicely. It's not terrible at all. And uh, that is the Lumia 928. So we will see you for the next review. And thanks for watching.